That's all right. That's all right. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling all right this morning. All right. I woke up with the Lord on my mind. Yes. And I know you did also. Yes. What a beautiful feeling when you can wake up with uh -huh. Jesus on your mind. Mm -hmm. and when you got God on your mind, you don't have to worry about getting in trouble. When you got Jesus on your mind, you don't got to worry about the gossip. Come on. When you got the Lord on your side, you don't got to worry about the trouble. About you, but I woke up this morning with the Lord on my mind. I'm grateful to God. Mm -hmm. Certainly, protocol already been established, but let me give all glory to the Father, creator of all things. All glory to Jesus, the one who paid it all. Amen. All of Him we owe, mm -hmm. giving all glory to the Holy Spirit. The one who guides the church into all truth. And we certainly, once again, give honor to Reverend Brown who with me this morning. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank God for you all. Amen. There's a word from the Lord. Thank you. Certainly thank God, our First Lady, Amen. Simmons. Amen. Thank God for the Minister of Music, the Reverend Charlotte Prophet, Amen. with me this morning. God bless you. There's a word from the Lord. Thank you. It's in the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 45. Thank you, Lord. Around that 20th verse, we ask that you mark it down. And in your spare time, we ask that you please read it. And sometimes you got to go back and read it over and over mm -hmm. and over again to get that understanding. Yes. Isaiah, 45th chapter, in the 20th verse, you will find these words. Assemble yourself and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations, they have no knowledge that set up the word of their graven image. And pray to a God that cannot save you. Tell ye, and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together, who have declared this from ancient time, who have told it from that time. Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my text right from this 22nd verse, that, that subject. Look into me, yeah. and ye, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth, for I am God, right. and there is none else. None else. Yeah. I have sworn by myself, the word is going out of my mouth in righteousness, right. and shall not return. That unto me every knee shall bow, every, every tongue shall swear, uh -huh. surely shall one say, and the Lord have our righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come, and all the incensed it against him shall be ashamed. Yes, Lord. And the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified, and shall glory, shall glory. Right. But that 22nd, look into me. Yeah. In other words, look into him. Yes, sir. Look into him. Mm -hmm. And ye be saved. All the ends of the earth, for I am God. And there is none else. Father God, I come now, Lord. Yes, Father. Blessing your name, Father. Yes. Thank you for your goodness and your mercy, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, I ask now, Lord, that you hide me behind your cross. That they'll see less of me, Lord, and more of you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father God, use me as you please, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. I'm just a willing vessel, Lord. Yes. Use me, Lord. Jesus. Use my mind. Yes. Use my heart, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Use my soul, dear God. Yes. Use every fire of my body, Lord. Yes. I surrender, Lord. Jesus. Oh, Father God, anoint your people afresh, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That they not only just hear your word, Lord. 
Yes. But they will do, be doers of your word, Lord. Yes. And then, Lord, we will continue. Yes. Give you all the glory. Yes. All the praises. Yes. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Your servant prayer. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Right. Want to use for a thought. For a subject. Look into him. Look unto him. him. Well, who, who is him? Come on. He's the omnipresent God. Mm -hmm. Our God is capable of being everywhere, everywhere. at the same time. Yes, sir. Look into him. Yeah. Uh -huh. His divine presence surrounds the whole universe. There is no location that he does not occupy. Thank you, Lord. Look into him. Yes, Our God, omnipotent God, is an all powerful God. Uh, God does what he wants when he wants to do it. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. Uh, God has power over gravity. Yes. Power over nature. Our God got power over science. Yes. Power over time. Yes. Our God, his power is unlimited. Who is him? Mm -hmm. he, he does not need our permission to do a thing. Right. Well, 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 who is him? Mm -hmm. He is omnis omniscient mm -hmm. God. All-knowing God. Oh, seeing God. Uh -huh. his, his knowledge is absolutely complete. Yes, sir. He knows all that it is to be known. That's uh -huh. right. Even though we are in this pandemic season, mm -hmm. the church must remember, yes. look into him for the answers. Yes. Well, God said in his word, look into him and him alone. That's right. I stopped by to remind you, said, look into him. Mm -hmm. Not look into your past, look into him. Yes. My sisters and brothers, life may seem unfair at times, but the Bible reminds us that it rains on the just as well as the unjust. I stop by to tell you, look into him who is able to keep you. Look into him. He didn't say look into the church. He didn't say look into them. He didn't say look into anyone else. He said, look into him. Uh, God said look into him. The Savior and the liberator of the world. Yes. Not just not just shouts, not the world. Right. And since Jesus Christ Ooh, is the head of the church, yes, and I'm the under shepherd, mm. I got to look into Him yes. for the answers. Right. I got to look into Him yes. for the vision. Yes. I got to look into Him yes, sir. Uh, for for wisdom. I got to look into Him. Yes, sir. Uh, sometimes we we look into others. For the answers, instead of looking into God for the answers. Sometimes we only see through the eyes of others. Church, you might see God through your own eyes. You got to use your own gift. David told, told, told Saul, King Saul, I can't use your gift. Use your own gift, church. Be your own self. Church must learn how to be herself. Yes. How does the church be herself? By looking to him. That's how you be yourself. Yes. Before Isaiah saw the Lord and lifted up, before he saw him, yes. he saw King Uzziah. Uh -huh. yes. Sometimes we look into others. Yes. <laughs> but until we look into him, to the answers. King Uzziah. He was a noble king. Yeah. Was a very popular king. Uh -huh. Made a lot of great improvement in the nation. Mm -hmm. King oh, Uzziah planted many vineyards oh, throughout the land. Yeah. Yeah. King Uzziah built walls in Jerusalem. Did a lot of great things. Yeah. And Isaiah used to look up into him. Uh -huh. But he found out one day, Uzziah died one day. Yeah. And he had to look up into him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He should have been looking up to God before. Yeah. He was looking up to the king. Oh, but, oh, but the king died. Yeah. And he had to look up into God. Yeah. In his house. He had to look up into him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And for the church, learn to look up to God. Yeah. Not look up to your titles. Look up to God. For the answers. Sometimes God got to move the people out of our lives. Yeah. Sometimes God has to remove the idols out of our lives. Yeah. Sometimes God got to take it out of our comfortable yeah. zone. Yeah. That's why he told Abraham, leave your king folks. Yeah. Leave, leave daddy's house. Yeah. Uh, leave your family and go into a place that I will show you. Yeah. Uh, he was 
look into his father. But now he had no choice. He had to look into him. Abraham had to look into him. Yeah, he, he had to get away from his kin folks. Get away from mom and dad. And go to a land that I will show you. And now he found out that he had to look up into God. Full of answers. Sometimes God got to strip everything away from us. So we can look up to him. Sometimes God got to remove the covering from around us. Got to move some friends out of our lives so we can look up to him. Sometimes God will put in us in a situation that mama and daddy can't help us. Sometimes he'll put us in a situation that the church can't help us. Sometimes he'll put us in a situation brothers and sisters can't help you. Until you fall on your knees and look up to him. able to lead you and guide you to all truth. The one who will fight your battle. That's like when you start looking up to him. Then he'll make your name great. Look up to him, the one who can curse you or bless you. Look up to him. The one who's able to kill the body and the soul. Oh, I feel all right now. I know back in 2008 when President Obama came. Oh, I love President Obama. Many people been looking up to him. Yeah. I love Michelle Obama. Yeah. But I find in my word, I got to look up to God. Yeah. God. Uh -huh. mm. yes, sir. Look up to him alone. John the Baptist said his best. Yeah. John said, I'm not the light, uh -huh. but I'm a witness of the light. Yeah. Church, you are not the light, uh -huh. but we are a witness of the light. Yeah. We look up to him yeah. for the answers. Am I right about it? Right about it. Many people today are still putting their trust and hope in man. Man will disappoint you. Man will let you down. Man will fail you from time to time. Many people look into their 401k plan. Many people look into the stock market. Many people look into the retirement plan. I start by taking you. God said, look into me. When you're down to the last down, look into him. When your faith has been shaken, look into him. When you have been broken, look into him. When life gets scary, look into him. When you backslide, look into him. When the going get rough, and the rough get going, yeah. when the contrary winds begin to blow, you ought to look into him. Jesus. You got the taste for yourself. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Isaac, when King Uzziah died, yes. Isaiah found out yes, he had to look into him. Yes. He needed God to build his character. He had to look into him. He needed God to deal with stiff necked people. He had to look into him. Yeah. Give him transform his thinking. He had to look into him for boldness. Thank you, Jesus. It is him that saved us. It is him that set us apart. It is him who give you your gift, not you. He gave you the gift to sing. He gave you the gift to, to how to help people. He gave you the gift. Look into him. That's why we got up this morning. Look into him. That's why we still alive. Look into him. That's why we have food on the table. Look into him. Sometimes God has to fall. The cup from under our feet. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sometimes he got to pull My God. the cup from under our feet. Yes, he had to pull a cup yes, from a man named Saul. For his name was called Paul. Yes. Paul had a big head. Yes, Saul was dependent on a lot of people. Yes. He was dependent on the Pharisee. Yes. He was dependent on his education. Yes, yes, he was dependent on people on high places. Oh, but one day, oh, one day, oh, 
one day. One day. He even had to depend on the high priest. When they got some letters to persecute God people. Yeah. He was looking to all kind of people. Yeah. But one day, he met Jesus yeah. on the road to Damascus. Yeah. God knocked him off his high horse. Yeah. He found out he was blind for three days. Yeah. And after a while, he found out that he had to look into him. Yeah. You had to look into Almighty oh, God. Yeah, I'm right about it. I'm right about it. Paul had his heel, but he had no control. So many people in the church got a zeal for the Lord, but they are out of control. Huh. What you talking about, preacher? You can have a zeal. But I got to be under control. Break it down for me, Pastor. But every now and again, I like me a, a good Western movie. I like a, like a, a good cardboard movie. Every now and again, you find me at home looking at the cardboard movie. And what I know, cowboys, we're looking for horses. Horses, they call it stallion. The wild horse. And you got to be a good boy, a good cowboy, to train a wild horse. When I look at the movie, that cowboy after cowboy tried, but he always one cowboy, he'll grab that rope. He'll grab that rope and he'll put it around the, the stallion neck. And that stallion would just buck. It would just buck. And it would buck. But after a while, after a while, after a while, yeah. after a while, yeah. he'll take that rope. Yeah. And anyway, he want the horse to go and the horse will go. Oh, yeah. But notice now, the stallion never loses his power. Yeah. The stallion is a strong horse. Yeah. But he never loses the power. But guess what? The power is under control. Right. Paul had power, but he had no control. A lot of people in church got power, but it's not under control. Well, come on. When Christ came to Paul's life, Paul never lost his power, but the power under control. Anyway, God wanted to take Paul. Power under control. Until the church learned to get power under control. The church will never be the church. That's what the Bible says. Do not preach the spirit. Do not preach the spirit of the living God. As a matter of fact, do not grieve the Holy Spirit. So many people in the church is grieving the Holy Spirit. And that's why things don't work out the way you want to work out. You got power. But it's not under control. God said, you got to look into me. Look into him. Paul never forgot it. He never forgot to look into him. That's what Paul said. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me. Power under control. Don't you try to deal with people. Let God fight your battle. In God business, let God do the work. Look into the author and finish you of our faith. You know the late Dr. King. But I read the book about Dr. King. And he tells the story. The boy caught in Montgomery. He was getting threatening phone calls. People said they was going to kill him. And he had to be in the hotel that night, receiving threats after threats. Dr. King said he was at the breaking point. Oh, yes. He was at the breaking point. Woo. Dr. King said he came to the end of his rope. Yes. He said he had nothing left in the tank. But some way, Dr. King said he began to pray. And Dr. King said he began to look into him. Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Late night, being broken, he said I was, he was afraid. Yes. But then he, he looked into him. And so when he started looking into God, he heard a voice from heaven. She said, stand up, Dr. 
the king. Stand up for righteousness. You heard the voice say, Stand up for truth. He look into him. When you look into him, you understand. God told Paul, I'll be with you until the end of the earth. I'll never leave you or forsake you. God he said, He will never leave you or forsake you. You got to look into him. Look into him who is able to keep you from falling yes, and to present you faultless yes. before the presence of him. Exceedingly joy. Exceedingly joy. Center, look into him. Even Adam and Eve yes. had to look into him with his sin in the garden. They had to look into him for mercy. Abraham and his nephew Lot, when they left Sodom and Gomorrah, they had to look into him for direction. Noah and his family, when they built the ark, they had to look into God for grace. Jacob and Esau came from a dysfunctional family. God, they were fixing in the family. Jacob and Esau had to look in. Look into him yeah. to be so brotherly love. Am I right about it? Right. David and Jonathan Call had to look into him yes. for true friendship. Mary and Martha yeah. had to look into him yeah. to raise their brother yeah. from the grave. Yeah. Naomi and Ruth had to look in for him yeah. for strength. Yeah. They lost their husband. Yeah. Ah, yeah. The Look into him for security. They left all they had to follow Christ. These are 70 disciples had to look for him. Did the power to tread over serpents, Paul and Silas were in prison. They had to look into him for a breakthrough. Elizabeth and Mary had to look into him for the faith to pregnancy. Barnabas and Paul had to look into them. They had a disagreement and they had to look into him. And after a while, after a while, they came back together. After a while, look into him. Things and trusting when you get when you get, have a disagreement, look into him. Church, if you got a problem going on, look into him. Answer. Yeah. Nehemiah had to build a wall. You had to look into him. Yeah. Hezekiah yeah. had to look into him. Yeah. Hannah and Sarah yeah. had to look into him. Yeah. Rachel and Leah. Yeah. Husband, they, had, they had one, one husband. Yeah. They had to look into God for peace in the household. Yeah. Moses and his brother Aaron had to look into him. For leadership. Ah, the wise men who came to visit Jesus had to look into him for the baby location. The wedding at Canaan, they had to look into him. Somebody had to do the wedding talks. They had to look into him for some wine. Am I right about it? John the Baptist and Nicodemus had to look into him for a blessing. Disciple Thomas had to look in for him, but he was doubtful for reassuring. You got to look into him for a healing. The man with the withered hand had to look into him for a healing. The woman with the issue of blood had to look into him for a fresh anointing. Some of you need a fresh anointing. Some of you in the church, but you don't have the anointing. Look into him. And God will give you a fresh anointing. Yeah. Ah. 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 You can't get in the prayer room late Saturday night and expect to have fire on Sunday morning. Ah. Ah. It already be on fire on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday. And when you get it on Sunday, 
The preacher don't have to talk you happy. You already be happy. Simeon, the one who helped Jesus carry his cords, had to look into him for strength. That thief on the cross, oh, that thief on the cross, had to look into him for salvation. Ah, the ones in the upper room had to look in for him, for the Holy Spirit. When I accepted the call to come to Central in 2018, I had to look into him.
need you help anybody. Look into him. Reverend Pinkney, 